If you're having problems with your reciprocating saw and you know how to use a screwdriver, we can show you how simple it is to actually open it up and diagnose your issue. To disassemble a reciprocating saw, we'll use the following tools. Two magnetic parts trays, extended long bits, needle nose pliers, magnetic pickup, and a multi-bit screwdriver. Every reciprocating saw is slightly different. With some saws, this black rubber is actually one piece where you have to grab one end and peel off before you can actually access the screws. In this case, it's molded hard plastic, which will come off with this whole side cover. First thing we do is remove our power, which we have, no battery. And then we start at one end and loosen up each screw. For the long ones, which we can't normally reach, we just switch to our longer bit using the same screwdriver. This is a cheap and easy way of accessing all screws. With one multi-bit screwdriver and one set of long bits, we can take apart pretty well every tool we come to. We just check again all our seams to make sure they open up. There's no hidden screws we missed. Sometimes this might be a rubber cover where we have to peel it off to get to a hidden screw. Once we've identified that there are no hidden screws, we can bring our parts trays and start removing, storing them in our parts tray. We can either use our needle nose pliers to remove the screw fully, or our magnetic pickup to remove it, store it in the part tray in the same order as we remove them from our reciprocating saw. At this point, we're ready to move the cover, which is done by simply grabbing one end, slowly pulling all the way up, flipping it over to access the insides. Our main components in a reciprocating saw would be our main power coming in, or in this case, our battery connector, our switch with our lock-in mechanism, our motor, our transmission, our guide for our blade, and our blade locking mechanism, and finally our shoe. For specific problems with your reciprocating saw, please check out our many other videos that will help you diagnose each particular problem and identify which parts need to be replaced. Do any of your tools need a repair? Visit us at ereplacementparts.com and easily find the parts you need and have them shipped right to your door.